Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we're talking about an SD card that I think it's great for the Ursa 12K and every other 8K camera out there that can accept SD card. This card, let's talk about it. All right, if you're here for the first time, you're welcome. Today we are, you know, talking about this SD card that I already talked about or made a video for uh, a few weeks back. And I did make a blunder. I did say that it didn't work on the Ursa 12K. And that was because uh, I messed up. Now, I should have switched um, the SD card there's the if you have the Ursa 12k, there's the mode to switch between the SD card and the CFast card. So it was on CFast and I tried it while it was on CFast. Because that's what happens if you're on SD card mode. If you don't switch it to C CFast card uh, and you put in a CFast card, it wouldn't work. Same thing, it was in CFast card mode and I put in an SD card and it didn't work. And I thought that um, it wasn't compatible with the camera. But I was wrong and uh, as soon as I figured out my error, I tried it again and um, it did work. And I'm going to tell you to what extent. Now, it works for all 8K um, regular time up to 30. It works 8K24, which is my major concern. 8K24 on every compression, 5 to 1. And everything below on the black magic um, site well at least some some time back when I checked even the um, what's the popular name of this card um, well they do see fast and all that I write it on the screen their cards are supposed to be the best and it was rated that it would take their SD card would take 8k 18 to 1 that's good, that's fair enough, but this card takes 8K 5 to 1, you know, and that's, I thought that was great. Now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, really work for your slow motion, 8K 120, just to be sure I'll write all, all the stuff that worked. They don't make anything beyond 256 uh, megabytes. Um, per card but I think I think it's coming I think they would do eventually do uh, 512 and 1 terabyte but the real gain about you know uh, if you want to purchase this card um, you should be getting them in bulk then because there's a deal for that so if you get one it is fairly okay pretty much in the same price range as the um, other expensive cards but uh, when you um, buy four when you do the deal and uh, you buy four one time and then you'll get a discount the one terabyte cfast card is still a lot better a lot cheaper um smarter way to go okay uh, but if you need sd card if you need sd card and you want a lot of options not just one card like one one terabyte uh, you want to have you know several cards so you could switch um, and not have all your eggs in one in one chip um, there you could go with the SD card for many reasons but depend on how you work what you do and uh, how much uh, data you need for your project if you need two different dev uh, cameras uh, working at the same time you could get a 256 and all you do is just um, transfer and go back to the card again and um, use it over and over again and you know, <laughs> no pressure okay so that's that i think that's uh, all i want to say it works for, for the Ursa, you know uh, and i think it works uh, pretty much for any komodo red uh, files out there that accept sd cards um the uh, canon arrow 5 uh, arrow 6 and uh, any 8k video out there as long as your camera can take in an sd card I'm pretty confident that this card will work so I just wanted to let you guys know and make the correction clear that it works on my Ursa 12k up to 8k 5.1 you know, compression 
which is great constant bit rate 5.1 can be that now sd card yeah i love it thank you guys for watching like subscribe watch out for our giveaways and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.